Before moving on to example two, there are some things about Euler's method that I do want to talk about. Using Euler's method, you're going to get an underestimate if the graph is concave up. So if your graph is something like this, if it bends up, either like that or like this, the tangent lines are underneath the graph, so it's going to be an underestimate. If it's concave down, the tangent lines are going to be above the graph, so it's going to be an overestimate. So just keep that in mind that when using Euler method, you are using the tangent lines. So concavity takes place in determining whether it's going to be an overestimate or an underestimate. All right, so example two, we're going to talk about how to use Euler's method if you want to go backwards. And what I mean by that is we're going to start with x equals 2 and we're going to get to x equals 1.5. So in this problem, dy dx is going to be 2x minus y. And when y equals 3, x equals 2. I do recommend whenever you have something like this, you go ahead and rewrite it as 2 comma 3. So we aren't explicitly given delta x, so we have to go ahead and find delta x. So in order to find delta x, you're going to do the final, which is where you want to end up. So at 2, minus the initial, which is 1.5, and the number of steps, which in this case is going to be 5, because it says 5 equals stops. So this is going to give us 1.5 minus 2 divided by 5. So negative 0.5 divided by 5, which is negative 0 0.1. So our delta x is going to be 0 0.1, negative. So what we're going to want to do here is go ahead, wherever we have a delta x, we're going to put negative 0.1. So our first point is going to be 2 comma 3. And then to find dy dx, we're going to plug our x and y values in. So if you plug it in, you get 2 times 2 minus 3, which gives us 1. Delta x is negative 0 0.1. And then dy dx is going to be uh, 1. Delta x is negative 0.1, so we get negative 0.1. Then delta x plus x is going to be 1.9. And y plus delta y is going to be 3 plus negative 0.1, so we get 2.9. Okay, so our new point is going to be 1.9 comma 2.9. And you're going to repeat this process until you filled out the entire table. So I'll do one more. So it's going to be 2 times 1.9 minus 2.9, which is going to give me just 0 0.9. Delta x is negative 0 0.1. So delta y is delta x times dy dx. So it's 0 0.9 times negative 0 0.1, which gives me negative 0 0.09. So our new coordinate is 1.9 plus negative 0.1, so 1.8. And then our y value is going to be 2.81. And that comes again from y plus delta y. So it's our y value, 2.9, plus delta y, which is negative 0.09. Okay, so our new coordinate is 1.8, 2.81. And if you notice the pattern with the x's, they should be decreasing by 0.1. That's be 1.7. This is going to be 1.6. And the last one will be 1.5, which is what we want. So go ahead, keep working this out to fill out this chart. And then unpause the video when you're ready. Okay, so from the chart, when x is equal to... 1.5, we get y is equal to 2.61051. So on your own, I want you to go ahead and try this problem. dy dx is 2 minus x. y is equal to 1 when x is 2. And we get 3 equal steps, and we want x is 1.7. So I'm going to start by helping you set up your delta x. It's going to be your final minus initial. So 1.7 minus 2 divided by the number of steps, which is 3. So we get negative 0.3 divided by 3. So our delta x is negative 0.1. Okay, and we're going to start with the point 2 comma 1, which comes from right here. Right, this gives me the point 2 comma 1. Okay, and you just kind of repeat the process. So pause the video, and then go ahead and try that out. 
Okay, so after filling out the chart, we get when x is equal to 1.7, y is equal to 0.97.